Here's a little game that you might remember. Oh yeah! Lego ripoff. Roblox was made at the time when Club Penguin and Toontown were kind of a big deal. It was mostly just a social hub where people can make their own games and it, get the pants! Roblox shirts and pants! Today, it's more of a, uh... Shithole? It'll watch any Ruben Sim video and you'll see what I mean, bro. It's just a mess of, like, edgy teenagers and, uh... Like, stupid video games where you just click the screen to get points. I don't know. The best thing though, it's free. You don't have to, some games you have to pay Robux for, but most of them, they're free. Me personally though, if I'm gonna play Roblox, it's gonna be a first person shooter. Hold up, Roblox has first person shooters? Oh yeah. Some are pretty good, some are dog shit. Um, but either way, they're all kind of a good thing to go back to if you're getting bored of the same old Call of Duties and counter Strikes and all this little neat, neat dude ads. I'm not gonna talk about them in depth, otherwise this video is gonna be like 20 minutes long. But, let's go through some. Arsenal is probably the most popular one so far. Uh, the whole thing is based around arms race and gun game, like in Counter-Strike and Call of Duty. But there's like, bigger. It's great, but it mostly plays out like a party game. Like, if you go on there to play competitively, you are an anti-grass toucher. Some guns, they can be either like, pea shooters, or they can be like, legitimate, like, instant win buttons. Just like, cause it's, it's meant to be chaotic, it's not supposed to be intense. Either way, pretty good game, but it's kinda overrated. Phantom Forces is actually really fucking good. I'd say it's like a mishmash of a bunch of other IPs that already exist for first person shooters. There's so many like unlockable skins and guns and stuff that like it, it's gonna be fresh for a while. When I first got my legit PC, like my first legit PC, I played this a lot because it's a free game and I didn't have a I didn't have an income. And I go fucking crazy. It's definitely easy to learn, hard to master. And I think a major problem with it is a lot of people just stick to one gun instead of actually trying to have fun. I, I don't feel like using a sniper. I, I'd rather just use uh, my M16A3. Uh, it's easier for me and I can wreck the noobs. Uh. Bad Business is pretty okay. I think it's a lot more like uh, Modern Warfare 2019. It's really fucking cool and I have a, I do have fun with it. It's definitely kind of a sweat fest, which isn't really a problem for me, but for like new FPS players, it can be kind of annoying. There's also way too many uh, furry femboys who are making me very uncomfortable. Eh, what can you do? It's a great game, whatever. It has a lot of unlockable stuff just like Phantom Forces. If I were to choose, I would do Phantom Forces, but Bad Business is definitely something to try. Enforcers is like Call of Duty, but with Counter-Strike skin, you know what I mean? It has a lot of stuff to go through, like attachments and guns to unlock, and it has a really neat feature where you use tokens to unlock specific guns that you want to try. You don't have to go through yet and grind to get to the gun that you want. This one can also be kind of sweaty, so, you know, get your big boy pants on. Typical Colors is heavily inspired by uh, Team Fortress. I think it has a lot, it has like that feel of Team Fortress down to a T and they do some original stuff like new ideas for the characters. They don't just swap the characters over. This would be even cooler if the voice lines weren't just like skinny teenage white boys in their bedroom screaming. Ah, 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 help me, help me, please. It's definitely really fun and maybe it's something that you could try if you get tired of Team Fortress 2. Now there is one type of shooter that is pretty plentiful in Roblox and I'm not sure why, but it's definitely a niche shooter that a lot of people do like. Call of Duty Zombies! I'm, I broke my controller. Let's talk about some of the Zombies games that you can find. Zombies Uprising is definitely a different take on the Zombies formula. It's a lot more grinding and like everything just keeps on happening and happening. It doesn't stop. You basically just earn experience and money and just buy more guns and keep on going through and getting more guns. Basi I don't know. It's kind of like grinding in Phantom Forces, but with zombies instead. I don't know. It's kind of a time waster game, I guess, but like, it, it can be kind of fun with friends, you know? It's just gonna be a lot of grinding. You just, you just have to expect that. Michael Zombies is a project by Michael, and it's zombies. It's definitely not very serious, and I really don't like how it forces aim assist on a mouse. That's really fucking weird. There's a lot of kitty cat uh, bullshit, which is really weird. I don't, I, sorry, it's just kind of a red flag if you're a man and you think that kitty cats are cool iconography. I don't know. But it's pretty cool. I think it is, I mean, it's something. I'll tell you that. Now, Project Lazarus is a little bit more accurate. I feel like it's almost like it's pretty much got it for the zombies formula with uh cod zombies it plays out exactly how it would in an actual like cod zombies map 
There's not really much to do besides just this one map that everybody picks, but uh, I don't know. It, I think it's pretty good. If you want an accurate, free COD Zombies experience, I think you should check this one out. So we've talked about a good amount of really cool FPS experiences that you can find in Roblox. So you might be thinking, holy crap, I've, there's so much more. There's, there's probably so many more awesome games that I can play. I'm just gonna let you know right now, <laughs> a lot of these are actual stinkers, dude. Like all the games that I just listed, they are like diamonds in the rough. Most other FPS experiences that you find on Roblox are just gonna be fucking cash grabs and nothing burgers, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna run through some popular ones that are, I think, are just like complete trash, you know what I mean? Aim blocks. It's always fucking laggy and it's just really, it's just a flashier arsenal. Gunfight arena. Everybody's just kind of brain dead who plays it. There's just, I don't know. There's just nothing really to do other than grind. Gun grounds FFA. This game was just made by a bunch of nerdy kids who thought that they could make a really cool FPS experience. Like it's easy to tell that they didn't use this old school Roblox aesthetic because they thought it looked cool. They just used it because they're lazy. Don't even waste your time on this one, bro. Now, I could go on and on about all these FPS experiences that you can find, but it's just, <laughs> there's so much to talk about, bro. It's better off if you just find it yourself. Like, there are some good ones and some bad ones that I haven't talked about. But I think that the little amount of wonder that's left on Roblox, besides all these stupid simulators where you click the screen, and, like, hangout areas where people are, like, online dating, is finding these experiences that take me back to me playing Roblox as a young kid. Like, I remember the first game I ever played was just, like, Monster Truck Simulator. And it was just a bunch of, like, models of monster trucks just driving around. It was fucking amazing. And I can still remember all the games where it's, like, destroy a giant Spongebob with a rocket launcher, dude. Like, that was golden. It's hard to find, but there are still games like that that exist. You just have to dig- you have to dig through all these trashy, stupid games that are just super high definition and, like, crappy and cash grabby. I know Roblox has a really gross stigma, and like, it, there's a lot of really bad stuff that goes on behind closed doors. But if you have the free time and you're just bored of everything else and you don't want to spend money, just check it out. Just give it, give it one more chance. Search for something that you would really like to see. You could probably find like a really good FPS experience that I haven't even talked about yet. Happy hunting Robloxians, I'll see you guys later, Bye bye